Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. Let's get stuck straight in to another episode of Grind On Demand. Okay, the coffee that we have here today from the Naked Bean Coffee Roasters is their single origin Ethiopian Limu. I guess it's time to get naked. Okay guys, so just like in all the other episodes of Grind On Demand so far, I'm going to take this uh, Ethiopian Limu from the Naked Bean Coffee Roasters and pull a uh, shot and make myself a strong flat white. Okay, so let's take a look at the flat white from Naked Bean. It's got some really nice kind of um, dark chocolate tones. And you know, I, I would say bitter dark chocolate, but a lot of people get scared by that word bitter. But it, it's, it's a bad thing when bitterness comes from like over extraction or a dirty machine. But you can have a legitimate sort of bitter dark chocolate tone that still tastes quite nice. And in this situation, this is what we've got going on. The other thing is that this, um, these dark chocolate tones that I'm talking about are counteracted with like a sweeter kind of lighter acidity. And something that, you know, personally I, I would think is something that you should definitely get from an Ethiopian coffee is a really nice sort of bright flavour and that kind of bright sweetness really counteracts that, that dark chocolate and this is when you know that to use the word bitter as I was saying before some people would get scared by it but when it all comes together well it really really makes for a good, uh, good coffee. Okay so I really like that flat white but I want to see if I can pull more uh, from that coffee and so I'm going to try that coffee again but this time as a long black um, just to see if I can accentuate that acidity a little bit more and see how it comes through um, without the milk in the way. Okay so now let's try this as a black coffee. Yeah, it's completely different. Um, so this is the thing, you know, it depends how, you know, the coffee's roasted and, and where it's from and, and all these kind of things. But really, like sometimes a coffee absolutely shines in the black coffee or it absolutely shines through milk. I mean, with this coffee, it's, it's great both ways, but it's, it's really quite different. Through the uh, milk, as I explained earlier, it's some really nice sort of dark chocolate tones and there's a little bit of acidity but you don't really get it as much. Um, whereas through the black coffee, those sweet fruity tones really come through and there's no milk to hide what's going on acidity wise so you get that really sweet acidity going on. Um, but there are still those, like you know that chocolate body is still there. Um, look if you don't drink a lot of black coffee but if you want to really really get into you know improving your palate and and try to taste more in your cups of coffee. If you go to a good cafe and you can tell that they really know what's going on, you should start drinking black coffee there because um, the experience is amazing. And the other great thing about black coffee is as it cools down, you start to notice more of the intricate flavors. So your coffee changes throughout the experience, um, which is great as well, I think. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this cup. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Coffee Fusion. Remember, if there's a roaster that you love, it's time to demand them in the comments below. And if you haven't joined the community yet, remember we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, Coffee Fusion is bringing coffee lovers together.